thing that is muddied unnecessarily. The budget this year looks higher, although it actually isn't, because this is the first year we've actually budgeted for the runoffs to make a more accurately reflective budget. Generally, we budget only for the elections, the runoffs run us over in the red, and it looks really bad for the public. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's go back. There you go. Mike. Two thirty two. Which page are we on? You should be on uh, page one. Page one. Page nine. Maybe that's one. Okay. Let us catch up, Ms. Cox. Yeah, that does that. Right. What group do you work with? <laughs> Want to work with? notices for qualifying, notices for call, notices for logic and accuracy testing, things like that. Uh, the only thing that is not required are the early voting electronic billboard. We have the ability to get that to advertise early voting for $100 a month, and we've taken advantage of that in the past. It's quite effective getting people into early vote, enabling us to close the precinct. Okay, so you've got your, you look like you've got an increase there of what you're looking for, projecting $350 on that one. And so is that uh, any just increase in advertising? Yes. <coughs> what you're just kind of planning, planning yes. for that? Okay. Commissioners, may y'all jump in anytime that you see okay. anything as you come down that line that you'd like to ask Ms. Cox about, if this is your opportunity. In, in regards to the uh, I guess salaries, is, is that additional personnel or? Uh... I don't budget for salaries. I have no idea. The only part of that that I have any input in are poll workers. Okay, because I, I was looking at the, uh, the change as in, it's like 68,000. I know we just did that recent um, organization change, and I know we were saying it was not going to be a budget impact or what have you. I just. Previously, the poll workers had been a separate line item, now they fall under. Um, salaries regular and that's triple because we budgeted for one election and two runoffs you know with a new schedule of elections so there would be an increase in the poll worker cost and that increase is reflected in salaries okay. the salary information there is um with the changes that were made to the personnel um a couple of meetings ago and then the poll workers and early voting personnel um, which was approximately 99000 Wasn't early voting supposed to be a <coughs> revenue neutral thing from the state? Right. <laughs> On the line, um, yeah, um, year to date, 1437. Right, this is for the next fiscal year. Right, this was printed before those costs were incurred. The, the year to date figures are as of the last Wednesday.
left his arm stabbed. Uh, that's one board member, which is legally required to go, myself, which is legally required to go, and the assistant supervisor, which really needs to go. Uh, the rest are down at the bottom as a nice to end. It's state mandated training. Previously, we had uh, two options. Now we only have one. They've been combined. So it's once a year. So your increase there again is for three individuals: your board member, yourself, right, and the third one. The assistant supervisor. Assistant supervisor. The, the uh, time of the training is a little bit longer. Uh, the cost is a little bit higher. Okay. And also the educational training is uh, travel. Right. Two thirty seven. Not right up on the, uh, the seminar. Right. Education training, travel education training seminar. Mm -hmm. And the travel reflects three persons plus state meetings that we have to go to that we don't know in advance quite often. Things of that, and those are generally either in Macon or Atlanta. And that's include the same ones that go to the one above. Right. These are totally different than the, the required state training uh, annually. These are day trips. We'll come out with a new system. They'll say, come on up here and train on it for a day, or state election board meetings where we have cases pending, things like that. Uh, Commissioner, do I have the breakdown on the training or the travel request um, for the state training the hotels? Twenty-four hundred dollars. Um, fuel seven fifty. Um, I'm sorry. Meals are seven fifty. Fuel is two forty. And then for state um, meetings, I have fuel of three hundred and meals of seven fifty. Uh, I have a quick question um, regarding fleet rental. Is that something that we handle in house, where they just borrow when our public works vehicles or something like that? Or no, we have a vehicle assigned to us. So you have a, I was just have, noticing the, the increase amount. I didn't know how, how have, it be applied. We have vehicles assigned to divisions, and we look at the cost of maintaining those vehicles on an annual basis and go back and adjust those rates um, depending on how much that vehicle has been used, what kind of maintenance costs have been done on that, or have, that vehicle has incurred over the year, and that will adjust those rates annually. So, so in essence, the I guess the increase that we see really is, is something that we're calculating in house on based on the use, not nothing that she's requested. It just no, that's that's calculated based on usage. Okay. Now they're the only ones that have a Cadillac Escalade. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Under the travel debt, you have at this point spent five hundred and sixteen dollars. So what training do you have left that you take? We have not had the training yet this year. That's the last week of this month. Pardon? Um, travel, travel, training. Yeah. I mean, they participate in that. Some do and some don't. Does the small tools and equipment reflect a, a new technology, I guess, to uh, calculate votes or, or posters to use somewhat? I just noticed it's the increase of what, nine thousand. So it's, it's a board member. <laughs> 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 the small tools and equipment, uh, there's an increase there to ask for additional monitors. Uh, with the new state system we implemented last year, half of our computers have dual monitors and half don't. Um, that's required to enable some of the functions. They have to be extra wide and so on and so forth. So that's to bring the rest of our computers up to speed there. Uh, it's two replacement computer systems where IT says they're so far outdated they're over there continually fixing them. And two laptop computer replacements. We have to take our laptops to training. We took them the last time and they said they were just too old, don't bring them in. Those laptops are also used if we have an overflow on uh, early voting. We have the ability to set up an additional early voting site and it would be working off of those two laptops. 
in Rainwater Conference Center. <clears throat> That's so, why those are critical. And an AED device with CPR mask. We have 26, 28,000 people come through the early voting for major elections. And I think that's just a, a safety and security thing. I think that would be a good idea. So the state said that they, you could not use your current laptops? Yes. Ours or theirs? <laughs> yeah. Theirs is now state of the art. We just got off the DOS system and went to a nice new system. If theirs is state of the art, that's the first state agency that's <laughs> ever had state of the art. Before we, before we get too far, Ms. Cox, uh, I know that this is not your first time that you had to work through this budget process. Um, uh, but we, as commissioners, this board to have a responsibility as well so we're trying to look at everything we understand that there is basically a net increase in what you're asking for we understand that but at the same time we also are going to have to be uh, very vigilant in throughout this process to be sure uh, that we can justify that and justify the increase in the citizens so I bear understand. with us I mean we're not this is not to, um, to be at the dev talk or anything like that, or any of these folks. We just, this is an opportunity that all these commissioners has to take a look at the budget process as we move forward with it. And of course, the questions that's gonna come out of it is uh, questions as to why, you know, so that we can justify it. Um, I'd like to, one of the whys, again, is uh, justification on the printing. I'm looking at an increase in your printing of $4,600. Um, and you're, of course, I know that you're coming, oh, this is over in, in next year, of course, you're at $5,170.28 year to date on, a, on an $11,000 budget to 2014. Um, would be, what is it that you see that would be the increase in, in additional printing that you would have to have? Three elections. <coughs> More an election. <coughs> an election and two runoffs ballots plus the ballots this year you have to look at election cycles every four years okay. because that's when you have the same election again uh, the ballots this year are in color and there are three times the number of ballots per election because it's a primary for every person we anticipating we anticipate voting provisional or by paper ballot you have to have a democratic ballot and a republican ballot and a nonpartisan ballot for them available so it's three times the ballots and they have to have the color stripes. So that increases the cost significantly. Okay, so this is primary outside printing then that you'd be doing. This is not some yes. printing that you'd be doing with your information that you hand out at the counter and those sort of things. This right. is going to be your balance, actual balance. Correct. Okay. And it is for three elections, an election and two runoffs, as opposed to only the election like we've normally done in the past. Okay. All right. Um, so what we're basically looking at at the end of the day for the Board of Elections is a $94,756 increase in the budget over 2014, which is a 24.53% increase. That's the next at the end of the day. Correct. If you took out two thirds of the election costs, that would be eliminating the runoff. So there's a, a variable there. Mm -hmm. yeah, the uh, the other equipment repair maintenance is that for your holding machines and such? Yes. Okay. That's so that'd be under separate. Contract. That'd be separate from the computers and CPUs and that. Yes. Sort of thing. Okay. Commissioners, in prior years, what we had done.